Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a what I eat in a day video for you guys. Pretty much in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I eat in a day for weight loss. Recently, I have mentioned to you guys that I did gain some weight. If you go back and look at my previous videos, I was on a weight loss journey for quite a bit. And then I ended up taking a little bit of a break because life got busy. That is so normal, you guys. A weight loss journey is never perfect. It's always up and down. That's why it's called a journey. So I'm trying to get back on track and I really want to share my journey with you guys. So I did mention that I gained a little bit of weight. So I'm really trying to get back on track and get back on my weight loss and reach my goals. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys rough what I eat and I eat around 1500 calories a day. I love making videos like this because you guys really enjoy them. I love giving you guys food inspo on things that you can be eating for weight loss. Weight loss doesn't have to be hard. Food can still taste good. So I'm really excited to share what I like to eat with you guys. So enough with the chatter, let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, so I'm first starting off with breakfast. And for breakfast today, I'll be making an English muffin, egg and cheese breakfast sandwich. And on the side, I wanna have some green grapes. I typically like to have some fruits on the side with my breakfast. It really helps get those sugars in for the morning and it's healthy and it just tastes so good. So I love having a little bit of fruit on the side. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to prepare this and then right after that, I'm going to show you guys how I like to make my current favorite iced coffee. I have been obsessed with this. My husband loves it. My mother-in-law also really loves this drink. So I'll show you guys how I like to make it. So I like my eggs well done. So you're gonna see that it's gonna be nice and brown, light brown on the outside. So if, just cook your egg how you like it. I'm just showing you guys how I like to make mine. All right, so I have my English muffin. Got a slice of cheese. And I'm just going to add my egg right there. So this is what the sandwich looks like. Look how delicious this looks, you guys. So, so good. I'll definitely have the calories on the screen. And I'll also show you guys the calories for the entire breakfast with the grapes and the coffee. Um, so just stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and, and wash up some grapes and just add it to the side of my plate. These are starting to get a little bit ripe, so I'm just going to take out the ones that I don't want to eat, but for the most part, they still look pretty good. All right, so let me show you guys how I like to make my coffee, and then I'll show you the final breakfast. All right, so I'm going to show you how I like to make my current favorite butterscotch caramel iced coffee. So this is everything that I use. Of course, I have my handy dandy Nespresso. I love this machine so much um, and basically what you need for this drink is espresso so i usually use double espresso there's a couple of different pods that i like using so i wanted to share them with you guys the first one is ooh, <laughs> the first one is this one which is bianco Ligero. i really like this one i haven't used it in a while so i think this is the one i'll be using today this has a really nice light flavor it's like that perfect cup of coffee it's really really tasty um, and then i have these two so this one is a double espresso skiro and this is a really bold flavor it's strong it's really good uh, typically this is my go-to this is what i use on the regular um, but recently i actually picked up this one so these two i used to always use and this one i recently picked up this is the 
Chiero flavor. I hope I'm pronouncing these right. This is another double espresso pod. And this one's got a little bit more boldness in my opinion. It's really tasty. Um, so any th three of these would work well for the recipe. So I typically gravitate to one of these. But today I think I'm going to use Bianco Leggero. So I'm going to go ahead and, and pop this into the machine. So pop that in. All right, the Nespresso pod is in here, and I like to have two cups. I have a small one to brew the espresso, and then the large one where I'm going to actually assemble my drink. So I'm going to take my small cup, and I'm just going to go ahead in and brew the espresso, and then I'll show you guys what I like to do next. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how I like to assemble the drink. First off, I like to go in with some ice into the cup. I like a lot of ice in my iced coffee, so you definitely don't need to put this much ice, but that's just my preference. So I like to put ice, and then I like to add the espresso, and because the espresso is hot, you'll see a lot of the ice is going to actually melt down. Next, I like to go in with some milk. So that's kind of the color that I like. And to flavor the coffee, I have been loving this coffee syrup that I got from uh, Winners. Or actually, no, I got this one from HomeSense. This is a butterscotch caramel sugar-free coffee syrup. It is so delicious, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this in. I like to put about like two teaspoons, not too much. Depends on your preference, how sweet you want it to be. So I think that is good for me. And then I like to give it a nice stir. And I'm gonna put a little bit more ice in there. My toxic trait, <laughs> I love ice. And it is perfect. That is how I like to make my iced coffee. So yeah, this is pretty much breakfast, you guys, and I'll see you at lunch. All right, you guys, so it is lunch time, and for lunch today, I'll be making a tuna salad sandwich. So I'm gonna make a modified version of this tuna salad recipe that I saw on TikTok. If you guys wanna know what the original recipe is, I'll have the TikTok linked down below in my description. So I haven't tried this recipe yet. I'm excited to give it a shot. And again, it's going to be a little bit modified because I don't want to put everything that the girl put in her tuna salad, um, like onions and apples. That's not really kind of flavors that I would want in my tuna. So I'm going to make a modified version and this is all the ingredients that I'll be using. So I'm going to chop up some lettuce and tomato, of course, and I want to put a little bit of carrots. She put carrots in there as well for veggies, um, for the sauce, of course, to make it the kind of salad. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put some mayo in there and some mustard. I've never put mustard in my tuna salad, so I'm excited to see how that tastes. And for seasoning, I have garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Um, and this is the bread that I'll be using. This is really delicious bread, you guys. It has a lot of fiber in it. I've really been enjoying eating this whole wheat bread. There's a lot of grains in here. Calories are pretty decent. They are, it is 210 for two slices. But yeah, I absolutely love this bread. Even just with some peanut butter and everything bagel seasoning, I love it. So this is everything I'll be using. So let's go ahead in and make the sandwich. So I'm gonna start off by prepping my veggies. I'm gonna take some carrots out. And using this little gadget, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just shred my carrots. All right, so I have about a quarter cup of shredded carrots. Now I'm gonna go ahead in and chop up the tomato.
So I have about a quarter cup of chopped tomato and I tried to dice them really nice and small. Next, I'm gonna add in some lettuce. Alright, so this is what the mix is looking like. I'm gonna go in with some mayo. I don't really know how much I'm gonna go in with. Let's start off with one tablespoon or maybe two tablespoons just to start. And I'll also go in with a little bit of the mayo or sorry, not the mayo, the mustard. Um, just open this up, give it a good shake. I think I'm gonna just go in with a little bit like that. So we'll start off with that and I'll give it a nice mix and then I'll add the seasoning. This is looking so nice and colorful and I love that there's so many veggies in here. We got the tomato, the lettuce, the carrots. I really hope this mix tastes good. I know the original recipe actually doesn't have any tomato in it. That was just something that I wanted to add in myself. I thought it would taste really good. Instead of putting in sliced tomatoes, I thought why not just put it into the mixture. So I think that's looking pretty good. I don't want it to be too high in calories. So I'm gonna keep the mayo kind of light. I'm gonna go in with some of my seasoning. Just grabbed a random one to start. Put some black pepper. Go in with a little bit of salt just to taste. This is a little bit of onion powder. Just a little bit of that. And just a little bit of garlic powder as well. All right, so I have my bread nice and toasted. I really like my bread extra toasted when it comes to tuna salad. Something about the tuna and the crunch of really well done bread is just my favorite combination. So that is why I have it really well toasted. Of course, toast it how you like. So I'm gonna go ahead in with this mixture now. This looks heavenly. Like I am so excited. This mix tastes so good on its own. I feel like this would taste really good with just crackers as well. So yeah, I'm really impressed. This tastes really good. So I'll just add, I don't need the whole mixture. I, I would say I'm going in with about two thirds of the mix. Going in with a nice amount, just like that. Actually, no, I think I went in with about half. So this makes two sandwiches, which is perfect. I'll make my husband a sandwich with that one. All right, you guys, so this is my lunch. Look how delicious and crispy this sandwich looks. Oh, the inside looks amazing. I cannot wait to dig into this sandwich. And with it, I'll be having a 7-Up Zero. I have been loving 7-Up Zero and also ginger ale zero diet ginger ale so good and of course i love my coke zero so this is pretty much lunch you guys i will have the calories on the screen so yeah i will see you guys at dinner all right you guys so i'm having a snack right now i have some takis and i also have an orange here but i'm only gonna have half my husband's gonna have the other half so i'll have the calories on the screen for you guys so yeah this is my little snack so for dinner, I made this haddock fish. I baked it and it was so good with some mashed potatoes and some veggies on the side. I used this California blend and it just has carrots, uh, broccoli and cauliflower as you guys can see. And to season, I just went in with some salt, pepper, garlic and oregano and it was so, so good. 
So as you guys can see, the fish is nice and baked. It was so good. I love the garlic and herb seasoning on this fish. Here you can see the veggies are pretty much done and I'm just going in and prepping the mashed potatoes. And yeah, it was such a quick and easy dinner, you guys. This is the final product. I'll have the calories on the screen. My family loved this meal. I made it for everyone, as you guys can see. It was so good and so healthy. We loved it. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for my what I eat in a day video. If you guys liked this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys try out any of my recipes, please do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you guys have any suggestions on meals that you want me to try out, definitely leave them down below. I would love to try them out. If you guys want to see more what I eat in a day videos, make sure to check out my playlist I'll have it up here for you guys if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and you guys that is pretty much it I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys